Jake Ludington here at HPE Discover, and I'm here with Paul Drazan. And you guys have some new announcements in Hyperconverge since yes, the last time I talked to you. What, yep. what, what are they? Yeah, great. Well, thanks for asking. So we, we announced the HC 380, Hyperconverge 380 product um, with, for, for HPE. And essentially, we've taken a, a new approach to Hyperconverge. So we really wanted to focus on being as simple as possible, creating a really simple user experience, and putting that essentially on the world's leading platform in terms of the HP DL380 uh, server. And so, can you tell me a few things that are, are new in that scenario? Sure, absolutely. So what we've done is, is, like I said, we've really focused on creating a really simple experience. I think most customers who see it are actually surprised how simple it is, so simplicity was really important for us. What we also wanted to do is start to bring in the infrastructure into the experience. So for example, with this, what you can do is, with three clicks, you can literally update the underlying infrastructure of that, hyper or of that virtual cluster. Right, normally you're going to go outside of that hyperconverged experience, update your servers, and then go back into the experience. Here, with three clicks, you can update the firmware of your experience. So that's one of the things we've done. What we've also done is we want to make VM, what we call VM vending, as simple as possible. So we want to allow people to come in and just like in Amazon, click on a big button and order a VM they need. We want the underlying admin to have control of that VM, so they're going to be able to give the end user the VM choice, but now the end user can come in and with a click of a button get a VM they need for their environment. So we've tried to make, again, the infrastructure management as simple as possible, that hypervisor layer as simple as possible, so you have this really nice, easy, clean experience. And this will support any type of VM that you want to use? So right now, the first the first hypervisor we're supporting is with ESX. You know, just like everyone, we'll see that grow over time. So it'll become this nice layer that gives you the capability to really go and manage any virtualization um, environment you want to manage. Sounds good. Thanks, Paul.